There have been many orders of monks who've settled on Caldy over the centuries, but the current inhabitants are a Cistercian order who moved here in 1929 and are, relatively speaking, recent arrivals to the island. Brother David has lived here as a member of the order for over 25 years. Brother David, this is an absolutely stunning building. Can you tell me a little bit about its history? Yes, it was built between 1910 and 1913 for Anglican Benedictines. It's a striking design. It's Italianate and it's got some elements from the arts and crafts movement. The architect was Coates Carter, who was a Welsh architect. And I believe you're completely self-sufficient here? Oh, we try to be as far as we can. We do manual work and there's a history of that here on the island. But the monks of Caldy no longer limit their practice of self-sufficiency to living off the land. Since the 1950s, they've developed commercial industries, including the manufacture of cosmetics, most notably a lavender perfume, which is their signature fragrance. The tourists help to boost the island's income, but there is also a more spiritual reason for welcoming people here. What we try to do is bring people closer to God, really, get the idea of the peace of the island. Life at present is fast, sometimes superficial, and people don't have time to reflect. So when they come here, we often find that uh, you can see families chatting, you know, which you wouldn't get outside, which you really. Tell me a little yeah. bit about um, Caldy's religious past. They've been monks here since the sixth century. They were Celtic monks here. They were probably seen off by the Vikings. And by about the 13th, 14th centuries, we had Tyrannese Benedictine monks here until the dissolution of the monasteries. By the 20th century, uh, we had Anglican Benedictines here. It was the first experiment in the Anglican Church of monasticism. And the problem was that they weren't self-sufficient, and also they all converted to become Catholic, and then they lost their Anglican backers. So they had to sell the island, and we bought it and came here in 1929.